what is up everybody afik here and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing well and staying safe so this time around i have this so this is a w202 1996 mercedes-benz c180 so in my opinion with the launch of this car it started the rivalry of the compact luxury sedan which is involving this car the audi a4 as well as the bmw 3 series without further ado let's check out the car and this is abb automotive So before we begin, a little bit of context about the C-Class W202. So this model was launched in the year 1993 and it went on sale all the way to the year 2000. Now in 1997, it did receive a minor facelift. This particular W202 model replaces the old 190E model. Multiple engine choices is available for this car starting from the entry level C180 all the way to the fire breathing C55 AMG. Okay, so here in the front end of the W202, there's no denying that this is a Mercedes Benz, okay? So this styling really brings back to the nostalgic era of the late 80s, you know, the early 90s Mercedes styling. It's like very blocky, uh, and then the proportion is just really nice, right? So back then, as you know, all Mercedes Benz come with this sort of like ornament on the hood. So this is so iconic, it's just so elegant looking. So, you know, but then this is also prone to theft. So there are a lot of cases where people would just steal this ornament. Uh, I'm glad that it, that it still have it on this car. Okay, so this particular face that you see is the pre-facelift uh, W202 sleeve. This particular car is from 1996. Even after like more than 20 years, okay, nearing 30 years, I still like how this looks. One of my favorite uh, C-Class design, the original one. And then the car that you see here is actually the Malaysian spec car. So you don't get the head washer at the headlight. So if you live in somewhere like wintry area, like in the north or, you know, where you have snow, so that, those particular uh, spec have the headlight uh, wipers. The styling of this car really just uh, ages beautifully. I still think that this is one of the most handsome looking car uh, that ever existed. Classic lines, well proportioned. Alright, so overall, I love the design of the W202 back then and I still love it now. So under the hood of the Mercedes uh, C180, so the Mercedes-Benz can be had with multiple engine choices. So you have the C180, C200, uh, C220, as well as the C230. Uh, but then for the 1.8 uh, liter engine on the C180, so uh, over here, codename uh, M M111 or also known as M111. So this engine produces uh, around 122 PS as well as 170 newton meters of torque. So this power is sent through the uh, rear wheels via a four-speed automatic transmission. So during that time, uh, that was the only gearbox available. Now on the higher spec model, of course, the output uh, is uh, triple or higher than the 1.8 liter engine. But then the 1.8 liter engine has decent performance, uh, 0 to 100 around 12 seconds. So not bad for something that came out in 1996. So here in the side of the W202, I mean, just look at this car. Look at the proportion. They don't make sedan like this anymore. Okay? So you have that very classic three box design of the sedan, you know, that hood, okay, greenhouse, and then the trunk. The car just looks so well proportioned. 
This particular car, um, the owner did change the rim. So it's a very nice set of rims. So it is uh, 18 inches uh, AMG spec rim and it's five spoke with machine finish. And I got to say, it looks really good on this car. Yeah, this owner also uh, put on Michelin tires, good tires, all right? So look at looking at the rest of the car. So this is the elegant spec model. Um, you can see there by the emblem at the side of the car. One model up from this is called the Avant-Garde. So that is the slightly uh, more upper trim. So this is a beige color with a slightly two-tone uh, side trim over here. In terms of details, blackout, uh, B pillar, right? And then the door handle. Um, this is the door handle that you see uh, commonly on new cars nowadays. Yeah, it appeared in the C-Class back then in 1996. So on this particular car, the owner still managed to keep the antenna workable. So it's still functional. So the antenna will go up when you switch on the radio inside. Personally, this is one of my favorite C-Class design, the original design. Um, it just looks so good. I mean, look at it. It's just so nice. Okay, so here in the back of the W202, the same clean, straight design of the rest of the car uh, transfer here as well. As you can see, very clean, straight line, okay, well proportioned size, and of course, that very iconic triangle rear tail lamp, right? I just freaking love this tail lamp back then. So, this design appear in a lot of new cars, okay? A lot of people mimic this uh, triangle uh, rear tail lamp, okay? So one of it is, of course, Mitsubishi Lancer, Toyota Alteza, the list goes on. So there are a lot of cars that mimic this triangle uh, rear tail lamp. And why not? It's such a good design, okay? So back then, so the Mercedes-Benz, um, the trunk, so the way you open the trunk is through uh, the place where you put in the key okay so you press this okay so it opens the rear trunk okay so decent space for a car back then um, of course by today's standard this is quite a small trunk but then the one thing i like you look at this gooseneck hinge and then you look at where it goes in so there there is like a housing so a proper housing for the gooseneck hinges so even when you try to close the trunk you see it's not affecting any of your luggage inside the car so when you close the trunk you don't have to worry about your stuff being squished uh, by the hinges and then another thing that i noticed you know like classic mercedes benz the triangle emergency sign i mean like there's always one located uh, at the trunk okay there's always like a proper space for it so yeah so the back end of the uh, c-class the w202 just really good looking very handsome car Overall, I would say the entire car looks uh, really handsome. Okay, so here in the W202, it really does feel like you go back in time to the early 90s luxury, right? So the dashboard, the interior of the car, it has this uh, beige color interior, just exudes all luxury, okay? So upon getting in, the things that I particularly like are the wood trim, Okay, so the wood trim in this car is still in good condition. Okay, you have it on your dashboard, the upper part of the dashboard, the center console area. In the center console over here, it has this gate type transmission. I was surprised that this car have it considering that mo only mostly new cars uh, offer this design. And then the windows are electronic and the power window switch is in the center console as well next to uh, the gear shifter. Okay, so moving up, nice, clean, simple design on the dashboard. You have a single DIN uh, audio. Of course, uh, the owner has uh, changed his audio here to a slightly modern unit. Um, you do have a dual zone climate control, but it's manual. So it's a manually operated dual zone climate control. So you have the temperature setting for the left and for the right. Going up, you have the uh, button for the locking as well as the button to flip down the rear headrest okay and then in the middle there you do have uh, the hazard button so in terms of safety um, this c-class uh, the w202 uh, comes with dual front airbag so the driver side and passenger side and then you also have abs brakes okay so going up the top this is the one thing i'm quite shocked it has a monochromatic rear view mirror Okay, so this one dims um, the headlight of incoming traffic from the back, so it doesn't blind you at night. Quite a modern feature for such an old car. 
okay um, the rest of the headliner uh, uh, simple headliner okay so the the what do you call this the sun visor both the passenger and the driver's side has a vanity mirror so yeah quite quite good now in terms of driving position um, unfortunately back then the steering cannot be adjusted so this is a fixed uh, steering position okay but not an issue for me um, the reach is still quite uh, near to me so I don't have much issue with steering position seats are manually adjusted um, no electronic switch back then but then you can adjust lumbar support you know position wise and then uh, yeah the adjustment is quite a lot now the seat belt itself also you can adjust uh, up down so you can find uh, a good seat belt position okay so going back to the center console underneath the radio you do have a lot of storage compartment okay cigarette lighters uh, is under there and yeah so you can put a lot of stuff uh, underneath the dashboard and then speaking of uh, storage you do have a, a little bit of a console over here okay so you can close it okay and then you can open it to to put like for this car he put a hand sanitizer covid time okay all right so the center console quite a decent size it's magnetic type so just pull it up um a lot of storage inside a lot of stuff he put inside but yeah on the right side of the driver's side here you do have um the light switch so this is like a design that's been carried out until the modern mercedes-benz so even the current mercedes-benz the light switch is over here so the pedals are um, quite big and then the accelerator is the organ type so it's attached to the floor um, again a nice uh, design and then you do have a foot operating parking brake on the left but then to engage the parking brake you press it but then to release it there is a small lever on the right side just below the uh, headlight switch to release uh, the handbrake okay this is classic all mercedes-benz uh, technology okay you do have a compartment at the front here but it's so small um, mostly you probably just put like for this owner he put a face mask there but then you can probably put like a piece of paper or some notes inside there but then it's just really small okay but then understandable this car did came out in 1996 i just like how the environment is it just feel no so nostalgic you know like old time mercedes and this is considered an entry level mercedes by then so this was the cheapest mercedes you can buy but then in no way that it makes you feel less of a mercedes owner like sitting inside this car you are no, you you basically are part of the mercedes uh, family oh the seat itself leather seat with piping quite nice a beige interior uh, beige color um the headrest so mercedes has this like very unique design headrest so you can see it's like very uh, pointed forward okay so this is like very classic mercedes design i like how this interior uh, ages over time see after all these years this car is nearly 30 years even this seat is just in such a good condition the leather on this seat is just really really nice another thing um, the steering column behind here so you do have the signal on the left here and then at the top here uh, is your cruise control so it does have a cruise control in the year 1996 still a very inviting interior so here i'm sitting in the back seat of the w202 um, yeah uh, upon getting in uh, good first impression overall um, so despite being an entry-level mercedes it's actually quite a decent space back here okay so the thing that i particularly like is the posture of the rear seating position so as you can see um, i like that the seat is slightly reclined and also if you see the the bottom cushion towards the back it sinks in so it just gives a very nice natural posture you know it's just very relaxing okay so um the back seat itself uh, a lot of uh, good thigh support okay i would say space wise um so this driving position is my driving position 165 centimeter of height so my driving position leg room actually not bad okay so i still have decent amount of leg room as well as headroom okay despite my spiky hair the headroom my head is not touching the ceiling at all okay so um, overall seating ergonomics is quite nice now in terms of amenities um, you do have dual map pockets okay dual map pockets and then you have a center armrest okay but then um, there's no cup holder so this is an old car so no cup holder and then you do have a place to throw your rubbish in the center here 
um, a lot of all cars usually have this feature now sitting in the middle um, it might be a little bit of a squeeze because you have this uh, rather big transmission tunnel so this car is rear wheel drive so yeah so back then um, the design is not as modern so you do have a very big hum in the middle okay um, towards the back window you do have uh, what do you call it sunshade so what I call is peasant blockers or sun blockers so you do have a rear sunshade at the back here and this is classic mercedes-benz feature you do have power window as well so power window the switch is over here um, just uh, below the door handle you also have the same uh, wood trim from the front so it's been carried over to the back nice and i would say the material the soft touch material also from the dashboard in front uh, all the way to the back so nice consistent use of material the thing is about the the, the uh, this car um, if you close your eye and you just sit in the seat you actually can't really tell that you're in a car that's almost 30 years old like the ergonomic of this seat is just spot on so yeah overall sitting in the back of the c-class um, not an issue the w202 space wise not an issue for me okay guys so i've been driving the w202 for a while um, actually driving impression this car first impression actually i kind of like it like the right quality in this there's no fault like but older mercedes ride quality is just so beautiful so this car is sitting on rather big rims so 17 inches with low profile tires but then ride quality i would say it's so good like the older mercedes benz ride quality is just so beautiful going over speed bump going over like road imperfection like this is one particular road that i always go through to test out uh, suspension wise suspension comfort it just blows my mind like how how like this car is in it came out in 1993 okay the first generation came out in 1993 and then the ride quality it has this sort of like like you know when you go over a bump it has this sort of like glide effect like the ride doesn't crash down so it like hover for a while before it reached down uh, onto the pavement and i don't know like like mercedes benz back then they have this ride quality that's just so uh, like majestic you know so again this car had a 17 inch rim i am completely in awe at the ride comfort in this uh, mercedes and this is the entry level mercedes back then in terms of visibility because the car's um, shape it still has the traditional three box shape there's no issue in terms of visibility the visibility in this car is uh, really good okay the greenhouse the window glass is very tall and uh, very uh, big so it also gives a very airy what do you call that airy uh, feeling into the cabin the side mirror um, it has this sort of like slightly blue hue so under a hot day like this like in the afternoon it dims a bit so it doesn't uh, give that much of a glare okay and then kudos to the owner also uh, i just want to say credit to him also he managed to keep this car in such a good condition okay this car was purchased in 1996 so it's almost almost 30 years old already so almost three decades but then the condition is really good i don't hear any rattle inside here going over bumps also i don't hear any pushing noise or stuff like that so yeah um aircon still cool and yeah it doesn't feel like a car that's almost 30 years old track is straight you know so yeah now in terms of the engine performance so this engine is the most uh basic engine in the c-class stage so it's the c180 1.8 liter engine um, performance i would say uh, the pull itself from the engine is quite good okay um, there is some uh, talk there but then the one thing the downside of this car i would say is the gearbox so the gearbox is an old four-speed gearbox and it doesn't it's not equipped with all those modern you know electronic solenoid you know to override uh, the pressure to change the gear so it relies a lot on engine pressure um, for its gearing and then the one thing i noticed for this car if like i'm cruising at for example 80 km an hour if i mesh the throttle 
um, it doesn't downshift okay it doesn't downshift but it only gives you throttle response okay so you have the pull up but then it doesn't downshift so again um, I think that's quite uh, in tune or in sync with the nature of this car so this C-Class I think it's a more of a gentleman's car so it's more of a relaxing car to drive you know to cruise on the highway it's very comfortable if you tend to drive this car more spiritually like a performance car then maybe the the c220 you know or better still the, uh, the c36 amg that is more up your alley but if you're just looking for mercedes to cruise around you know um, have a nice time in uh, on the highway i would say this is a very nice uh, car to be in Sitting position also, despite the steering not having any adjustment, I have no issue with steering reach. Okay, the steering itself um, is not too far for me. It's nice enough. And another thing that I like that the accelerator pedal is the organ type pedal, so it's attached to the floor. So ergonomically, I like the position of it. Um, yeah. Actually, the pedal position reminds me of my own car. So my Sportage is also like this. So again, my Sportage came out 20 years after this car. The thing is about like Mercedes of this time. Sitting in this car, I don't feel like I'm sitting in a car that was launched in 1993 or 1996. It feels like something quite modern, quite millennial, you know? Like something that's what, that was like launched in the year 2000, example. So that's how much technology was really advanced for Mercedes back then that even after like 10 years or 15 years after the car was launched comparing it to a modern normal car at the time technology wise was it was on par okay and then in terms of sitting position one more thing I want to highlight the armrest um, the left side and the right side armrest I would say is quite symmetrical so the position of my hand um, I can just rest my hand at the bottom of the steering wheel not an issue the armrest is just uh, nearby okay? I don't feel very awkward in terms of my hand position so overall driving this C-Class for me I'm actually quite surprised on the right quality it's so good um, yeah I would say like enthusiast of this car because I would say like this this generation of C uh, Mercedes falls into the collector's item okay and also enthusiasts so i know a few people um, that owns multiple of this car and then i understand now why they keep this car despite the age and the trouble and the issue they associates with it because mercedes uh, benz parts are hard to source nowadays for the older model but then i would say like this car has so much character you know, it just it just embodies that old Mercedes-Benz luxury, you know, that quality. And this is the entry-level Mercedes. This is the C-Class. Okay, so you have the E-Class and the S-Class. You have more bigger, more grand Mercedes. But even in this entry-level C-Class, it's no denying that you are still driving a Mercedes. The same effort that they put in the E-Class and the S-Class is here. It's present here. And, and... For me right now, like I'm just test driving this car for a day. I appreciate it and I understand now why um, a lot of people have one of these older C-Class and then they never sell it. Um, yeah, like considered me um, poison and uh, maybe in the future I might get one as well. We'll see, never know. But for now, uh, I appreciate this experience uh, in the C-Class, in the W202. So with that, we come to the end of this video. If you like that video, do give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel as well as hitting the little small bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I post something new on my channel. I would like to say thank you for watching. Stay safe. Take care and have a nice day.